not sure how I'm supposed to. This is what I get. I plan it so I was trying to be like, maybe I should raid after this dream. So I kept my Twitch going, which is apparently um, not the smartest idea. And yeah. supposed to because I can't pull it but I can't get down if I move that that won't help me but I somehow have to push this over here okay, how can I hmm. there has to be a way push it but like it's gonna fall in this corner so that's not what I want to do either how do I get this box over and I have to stand on this to like raise or lower that Absolutely need if only that would let me down there. I know, I got it, I got it, I screwed up, okay. I mean, obviously I screwed up, but. I got it, okay. That one over first, okay. Huh. Flap, 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 flap. All the way back around. Okay. There we go. Flower collected. All right, and this put me in the maze. No, this just puts me here. Okay, and we got the one in the maze. And this 
just brought me up from down there, and I think we collected the one from down there. So... make sure I got everything in the maze. Um, so yeah, it's called Lala, uh, Yaya and Yala, Yaya Lilu, I think, or Lala, something like that. And you play as a little, um, it very much reminds me of, uh, say, Spyro, Banjo-Kazooie. And you play as a, it looks like a chameleon? And uh, a little bat buddy on your on your head, and you run around and you complete these little worlds and levels, and it's very adorable. So that might also that might become our next game. I'm not sure. Okay, so from what I can tell, we've gotten the flower here in the maze. Down just leads us down to the bottom. Like, I'm not... Okay, I just didn't hit the very, very edge. Okay. Alright, well, how do I get over there? That looks 
terrifying. La 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 la! How's that? Hi! Do you know where I can find blue flowers? More singing. Do you mind, kid? You're interrupting these fine ladies who are in the middle of admiring me. Oh. Ah! Uh, okay! Okay, well, I don't want to look like a jerk here, so I'll at least tell you that there's one to the right behind these lovely ladies here. <gasps> Thank you! Good luck! I have a feeling that the feathers that I... I feel like there's probably a feather I have to collect here. Um, or two, and one's for, like, Bug Guy, and one is for... the other. Hmm, okay, so that needs a block. I have three blocks here. Let's do this one. Oh, that could have been bad. Um... No, you can push two. I've seen you push two before. Come on now. Maybe it's because it's stuck on the other block. One, two. And number four? Yeah. Only two more to go. To take us till Monday if I can't find all these flowers. <laughs> Wait, was there something up there? Did you see that? Am I crazy? No, there is a pathway way up top there. Um, no idea how to get to it, but there is one. Okay. Flowers, huh? Well, kid, trust me when I say flowers are overrated. The true way to a lady's heart is to treat her right. But if you still really want to find the blue flowers, there's only one in the area right behind me, and one in the area in front of me. Good luck. All right, so that's cool. Then we got the last two. Ah, uh, thanks. Thanks. 
Whoa, that was super duper fast. supposed to do it I feel but this is the way that I'm hoping I can totally do this I just definitely cheated that okay and number five okay let's get on out of here Way too easy. Oh, we got an achievement. The symphony is complete. We got all the musical notes, it seems like. Okay, oh, can't go that way. Alright guys, I think we are about halfway 
yes, we're about halfway into the episode, so possibly just because Abert is there and possibly maybe it might hatch. So what are your guesses on what Abert, the burb Abert is? Do you have any thoughts, any... Any ideas? Before I... Before I share mine? to type out your answers. Mm. I feel like I'm finally coming alive, which is good because this is probably going to be a song. And maybe we'll learn our last note from the Bowerbird. You think it's gonna be a a kaku? I think you know what? Because they said it's not a chicken egg. And if I look back, I want to say it's very similar to the egg that Burb came out of. I think Egbert's Egbert is a peacock. And I think when Burb goes to find his family and and become a, a songbird, I think Egbert will go live with Uncle P as as a peacock. That, that is my guess. And we will, we will see if they tell us, if they leave it a mystery, maybe he will always be an egg. But let's see what we got. Finally. Now here's what I, where I really need your help. We'll need to wake him up with a song. I've been told that you're quite the singer. I'll try my best. I will try my best, Breaker. I'm glad you think my uh, my guess is valid.
That was awesome. I enjoyed that song. Ah, I'm so close. <laughs> he is. He's hatching. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out. I'm very excited. Did you hear that? Hear yeah, what? Egbert? Oh my god, look at little dancing! Egbert! You're... You're... A power bird? Oh. Ouch. My head. Where are we? You can talk! Yes! I'm out! I'm out! I'm finally out of my shell! And you're a power bird! Oh, my chick! Is that really you? I, okay, I, I will say I was not expecting it to be a power bird. That was so down on the list, like, I don't even think it made the list. When my only egg dropped out of the nest that fateful night, I thought I'd never see you again. What were the chances that you'd land right back here? Oh, I do remember falling out of a nest. Next thing I knew, I was surrounded by chickens. Oh, Egbert, I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Welcome back. I'm back. I'm... A bowerbird. I'm back! I'm back! Oh, look at the hug! That is the freaking cutest thing ever. He's so happy. Little rosy cheeks. He's gonna squish him. I'm so happy. Oh, and that's so not Burb's voice. I'm so happy for you. You've gotten your family now. Egbert? Oh, I think I should give them some time alone. And we unlocked an achievement called Sunny Side Up. All right, the departure. Abert's got his own family now. I think it's best that I leave them alone. So it was not, uh, there's a total of 39 notes. That seems so weird. That wouldn't be 40. Um, so far, no, no notes. Oh, there we go. Our poor little burb. He's still looking for, for his family. Maybe, maybe he'll stay with Uncle P then. And that kind of makes me happy. Burb, where are you going? <laughs> Look at his little feet run in a circle. It's adorable. I don't know. I don't want to impose on you and your family. As he follows us. Oh, I can't go backwards anymore. Burb? Oh, we're just walking now. I owe you so much. I wouldn't have found my way back here without you. Are you sure you don't want to stay here a while longer? I've already stayed here for too long. I'm happy you found your home, but I've still got to find mine. Well, it might not be my place to say this now that I found mine, but I think home is more than just a physical place. Home is wherever your loved ones are. That's so legit. Do you remember when we first met? When you saved me from those bullies in the Gallus Palace. And then we went on a grand adventure. First the Crystal Corridors, then the Freezing Point, and the Sparkling Shores. Never once did I feel lost. I always felt at home because of you. And for that, thank you. I hope you find your home. And if you decide to come back here, we'll always welcome you. Thank you, Egbert. 
I really appreciate all the help you've given me. You should go back before your dad gets worried. Says the chick who has left his Uncle P, wondering where he's gone for who knows how long now. I'll be fine. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. Well, bye, Burb. I'm so sad they didn't hug. Hugs. Who pretends to hug? Oh, next one. The Bowerbird feather. <laughs> Bowerbird. Bowerbird's feather. A blue feather with an air of mystery about it. Bowerbird loves collecting all sorts of knickknacks. You wonder if they serve any purpose other than just looking pretty. Probably not. It cannot move any faster than this right now. What now? I don't know where else to go. I can't go back to the owl. There's nobody else I can ask. I'm really all alone now, huh? I mean, you could ask your Uncle P who saved you. I'm just saying. Maybe Egbert's right. There's still somebody left. I guess there's nowhere else to go but home. I hope Uncle, I hope Uncle P's still there. As we slowly traipse through the blue flower meadow. No, that does not move us any faster. I tried, guys. I tried. Oh my goodness, he looks so sad. He's not even dancing anymore. He's just all like depressed. Oh, this makes me sad. Don't like. But you can hear Uncle B's music. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my goodness, he's crying! Uncle P? Burb? Burb! I'm so glad you're okay! I was worried sick! I'm sorry, Uncle P. I'm sorry I left without saying anything. Hush. You don't need to apologize for anything. It's all right. You're here now and you're safe. It's all that matters. Okay. Thanks, Uncle P. Oh, Burb, your feathers. They're so dirty. Where have you been? Well, everywhere, really. I wasn't sure I really belonged here, so I went all over the forest trying to find a place where I do. But, Barb, when do you think you belonged here? Well, every day the other pea chicks all stare and laugh. Even the adults glance at me disapprovingly. Why do they look at me like that? Why do I look and sound so different? I believe we answered this when the owl realized it was a songbird and tried to kill it. Just saying. Even from you, Uncle P. You're not really my uncle, are you? Well, that's... That's not important. Whew. It's important to me! You always do this! Do you not care how I feel? Every time I ask you, you never bother to give me a proper answer. You just brush it away. As if everything I'm experiencing means nothing to you. 
That's enough. Man, we're getting angry here. Screen shakes and everything. I fed you. I taught you. I gave you a home. It doesn't matter if I'm your real dad or your uncle or anything. I still care about you all the same. If you care about me, then tell me the truth. Tell me who I really am. I hope, Burb. The truth is, I... I don't know. I found you while you were still an egg. All alone in a bush on the verge of hatching. I knew it! So you aren't my uncle after all. He's really missing the point of this, isn't he? And I don't belong here. No, Burb. Don't think of it that way. We can... Don't! I... I need some time alone. No, wait. Burb! Oh. <gasps> it's okay, Uncle P. I love you. Silly stinking burb. I've never been so angry at this little burb as I am right now. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we got any any extra feathers. Um, I knew it. I don't belong here. Why am I like this? I need some time alone to think for a while. He is your dad and he loves you. Oh, though that's a cool animation. That little, like, um, running while crying. I get he's a chick. He's a chick. He's very emotional. But, yes, your family is the family that you make, not the, not the family that you're necessarily born into, so hopefully Burb will learn that. And he'll realize that Uncle P truly does love him. Oops. Well, that's dangerous. Also, I would like to remind everyone that Burb was hatched during a lightning storm like this. I don't belong anywhere. Is the owl back? You know, really, it's the other peacock's fault for being jerks to burb. Tempo pickup.
Nope, that was so bad. Well, that was not great. I will say that much. But a very sweet song. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I learned a new note. A somber note full of longing. I learned the last note. You. Are you a songbird? Mm -hmm. Oh, Barb, I'm so glad you're okay. I'm your mother. Oh, we need to have done a achievement called Reunion. Your mother? My mother? I knew you wouldn't believe me. I'm no longer the liar bird I used to be. Ever since that night. The night of the attack. The attack? Yeah, the, the owl attack, dude. Come on. Yes, it started as a night like any other. Peaceful, tranquil. Nobody even heard the silent wing beats of the owl. The next thing we knew, it was utter chaos. Lyrebirds were getting silenced left and right. I tried my best to run away with your egg, but the owl was on to me. I couldn't risk endangering you. So I had no choice to, but to leave you behind. I hid you in some bushes as best I could. 
And that's where Uncle P found me. Yes, I failed you. I couldn't be by your side when you hatched. All I could do was hide. I was terrified. I couldn't let any birdie know I was still alive. I couldn't risk the owl knowing that he failed to finish the job. Thankfully, the owl had been distracted with that artifact of his. His efforts to fill it with notes made him forget about us. But then one day, I heard that he'd been making quick progress. Imagine my surprise when I saw you waddling around. I knew then that you were the one helping the owl. You tried to stop me! Unsuccessfully, yes. I didn't think you would believe me if I just revealed myself to you. After all... I don't know how the owl got you to agree to help him. But I couldn't just let you continue to help the owl in his dastardly plans. So I had to get some help from the magpies. I knew they hated the owl just as much as I do. So they were the only ones I could trust. I was actually quite proud. You were a persistent little bird. But the owl found out about me. And you. Yes, he did. And I knew then that I could no longer hide myself. I had to come in and save you. It took me all the courage I could muster. Ma'am! Barb! What is it? What's the matter? The peacock! He's been burnapped! By the owl! No! Uncle P! It's all my fault! Oh no! We need to stop him! Let's go, Burp! Oh, I like that, that motherly pose of, like, we got this. Alright. There's been a bird napping. No, it's all my fault! The owl bird napped Uncle P! Uncle P's in danger because of me. I need to go find him now. The masked bird, my mother, said I can use the updrafts to go straight to the owl's house. There's no time to lose. Did she say that? I don't remember her saying that. But sure. Um. Cannot. Oh, but wait, wait. There's a, there's a feather. How do I get the... Right. I just used the updraft. I'm a dumbass. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh, lyrebird's feather. The long flowing... A long flowing feather. It's beautiful. The lyrebird's singing prowess was well known throughout the forest, earning them the title of songbirds. Um, I would like to save and I would like to do this again. Can I go? Can I go back to the original save spot before we continue? Hang on, it's like way down here. I can't. Okay. We are. I also realize that it is past noon. So we will end the stream here. Thank you all so very much for. Uh, for joining me today. I hope, uh, I hope you had fun. And, uh, yeah, there was quite a few, uh, shocking twists that I was not expecting. But, uh, yeah, it was, that was pretty amazing. We will pick this back up on Monday. Uh, so good call patience hero for, <laughs> for saying Monday. And we will uh, try that song one last time. We will defeat the owl, the dastardly owl. And uh, yeah, and then see what else we can do before moving on to a new game, whatever that may be. Um, tomorrow I will be here at uh, 11 Eastern, Tanzan Droll, whatever that translates to other time zones. Uh, for some table talk, table tales, that's it, table tales. If you would like to join, please do so. Um, hopefully I'm hoping to be on voice with someone else. I'm not sure who I'm going to rope in, uh, but hopefully someone. And we could chat all the things about RPGs and characters and whatnot. So join me tomorrow then for table tales. And again, in the evening, I will be playing as Moxie 11 over on Saves vs. Death. Have a wonderful Friday, uh, whether it's the start of your work week or the end of it. 
or maybe you're, you're somewhere in the, in the weird middle. Um, know that I love you very much and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.